Greetings, Earthlings. My name's Bandrew, and I would like to introduce you to the microphone that I am reviewing today. So today I'm reviewing this guy, the Turtle Beach Stream Mic, as requested by my buddy King Stiven, and this is a USB mic designed for Mac, for PC, for PlayStation 4, or even for Xbox One, and if you are interested in this microphone, it'll set you back about 100 bucks on Amazon, and as per usual, link in the description. And before we go any farther, I do need to put a disclaimer, make sure you download the Turtle Beach Ear Force Audio Hub to adjust the settings and update the firmware, otherwise this microphone will sound like complete crap. So let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. So obviously you're going to get the microphone. You get a microphone mount. You get a microphone stand adapter. You get a desktop stand. You get a USB cable, and you get some documentation. So as far as the build quality, the body of the microphone is all plastic and it feels kind of cheap, and all the other components are plastic as well, but the desktop stand does have some substantial weight to it. On the front of the microphone, we have a single microphone mute button with an LED light surrounding it. This will indicate what polar pattern you are using. When the light is red, the microphone is muted. When it's green, it means you're using the cardioid polar pattern. When it's purple, you're on the bi-directional setting. When when it's orange, you're using the hypercardioid polar pattern. And lastly, when it is blue, you are using the omnidirectional setting. On the back of the microphone, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone port, which does offer latency-free monitoring, as well as computer playback. Then we have the headphone volume control, which only controls the computer's playback volume. To adjust the monitoring levels, you need to use the EarForce Audio Hub. Then we have a button to switch between all four polar patterns, and lastly we have a switch to go between Xbox or PS4 slash PC. As far as specs, they really don't list a single thing about the microphone on the box or in any of the documentation. The only thing we know is it has four polar patterns. It has cardioid, bidirectional, hypercardioid, and omnidirectional. So now I'm on the cardioid setting, moving around the microphone to determine what the actual polar pattern is and how the audio sounds as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm on the bidirectional setting, moving around the microphone to determine what the actual polar pattern is and how the audio sounds as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm on the hypercardioid setting, moving around the microphone to determine what the polar pattern is and how the audio sounds as we move around the microphone's capsule. And lastly, I am on the omnidirectional setting, moving around the mic to determine what the actual polar pattern is and how the audio sounds as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm on the cardioid polar pattern, banging on a keyboard to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm about one foot away from the microphone. Now I'm about two feet away from the microphone. And now I'm about four feet away from the microphone. Now you can see that I have my sound preferences open and my gain is set at around 23 or 24 percent. I will drop this down to zero percent and slowly increase it so you can hear what kind of background noise is generated by this microphone. Now we're at 25 percent. Now we're at 50 percent. Now we're at 75%, and now we are at 100%. Now I'm recording using a completely different microphone just to show you what the app is able to do. First, you have an EQ setting, which allows you to adjust it to best fit your voice. Then you have the microphone monitor slider, which allows you to adjust how loud your microphone is in your headphones. Then you have an option for a few more polar patterns, super cardioid or extreme hypercardioid. You have the announcer effect, which will actually just add a slight echo. You have a clip indicator, which will make the ring light go red to indicate you are clipping. You have an LED blackout mode, which turns off the front facing LED. And lastly, you have an automatic noise gate, which will remove any background noise that is occurring when you are not speaking. And just for an example, this is how the Turtle Beach stream mic sounds plugged into a Windows 10 PC on the cardioid setting with my gain set at around 33%. <laughs> to find the truth so that I can believe
So in all honesty, I don't think I can recommend this microphone because not only does it feel like it's cheaply built, but I also don't think it provides audio that's much better, if at all better, than the majority of gaming headsets. And on top of all that, I think it's ridiculously overpriced for the audio quality that you're getting. I think what all these gaming companies need to do is stop trying to cram all these subpar features into a single microphone and push it on their user base. They need to focus on making a microphone with a single kick-ass function and then people will love it. All right, guys, well, I'm off my soapbox now. If you found this fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give me a big old thumbs down. Want more? Subscribe by clicking the logo directly beneath me. And also, don't forget to vote for the microphones that you want reviewed next, as well as follow me on all the social media stuff. Links to everything in the description down below. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.